It's the disease that you fear most, cancer. And your ability to fight it lies in one of the biggest buzzwords in health, antioxidants. Today, we're fighting the war on cancer with prevention, antioxidant prevention. And I'm sharing my cancer-fighting antioxidant all-stars, the three most important ones you need to help you prevent cancer. Do you have enough? That's why our audience is wearing these different colored t-shirts. You've seen them advertised everywhere. A glass of Welch's purple grape juice has twice the natural antioxidant level. This cut tie cream is so rich and the absolute best antioxidant. New Snapple antioxidant water. It helps protect your body. Antioxidants are found in many fruits and vegetables. And they might just be your body's ultimate secret weapons against cancer. But what exactly are antioxidants and why are they so good for you? As I've discovered, most of you don't even have a clue. What's an antioxidant? I don't know. Do you know any antioxidants? No, I know it's in green tea. You know what an antioxidant is? An antioxidant? Yes. No. You know what has antioxidants in it? I don't want to say the wrong stuff. I'm with your daughter here. I got a question for both of you. Can you name an antioxidant? No. No. Joining me is one of my all-time favorite guests, cancer prevention pioneer, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee, thank you very much for joining us as always. Talk about antioxidants and how they prevent cancer. Well, antioxidants are natural protective molecules that Mother Nature has laced into a large number of foods. And there are literally thousands of different types of antioxidants, but they all do pretty much the same thing. They protect our DNA in healthy cells from the type of damage caused by free radicals, which are harmful chemicals that our body absorbs from things like cigarette smoke or pollution or fried foods or other sources of the environment. So antioxidants protect our DNA against the kind of damage that can cause cancer. So you see why it's so important to both of us and all doctors are concerned about preventing cancer that you have enough. So everyone in our audience today is wearing their antioxidant health on their sleeve. They all wear different colored t-shirts. Before the show, we gave everyone the ultimate nutritional lie detector test. This revolutionary device, it's lying right here next to me, measures the level of carotenoids in your skin, which can help indicate the overall antioxidant health in your body. It's a completely non-invasive test. Did it hurt you? You get it? All right. No. Good. I haven't had mine yet. I'm having it next. So we're going to see if it hurts me. But it takes about 90 seconds, and I am sta I'm completely astounded by these results. Let me come on over here. We're going to show it to everybody. So... If you look at the, this, is, this is how it's supposed to be read out, by the way. We've got lowest to highest, 10,000 up to 50,000 units, right? Or, or, or these figures give us a rough idea. You want to be up here in the blues. Now, let's see how you did. Are you ready? I don't see any reds, any oranges. Let's see the numbers for the audience. You're all down here. Can I tell you something? You're America. You're a cross-section. Everyone watching the show right now. Let me just go through these because it completely blew my mind. We have almost 40% of the audience in the lowest category possible. I actually didn't think we'd find anybody there. Not naively thought that at least we're getting enough of these antioxidants into our bodies, they wouldn't be there. Another 40% had the orange category, which is still to me a dangerously low level. And we only had a total of about 6% having greens and blues. Put your hands up here, greens and blues. Let me just see. It's like, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of folks. But, you know, it's not many. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. So the question then becomes, you know, why is it they're having these problems? And it's not surprising because we're getting on average about two to three servings of fruit per day and vegetables. It's not enough. And we know that. We, what do we talk about? Five, seven, nine big numbers of servings, fistful size. So I haven't had the test yet. So before I give you a hard time, let's see how I'm doing. Uh, ready to go? Yes, ready. All right. And that's why I do this. Uh, talk to me about antioxidants. What foods have them? How can folks find them, even if they don't know the chemical names? Well, you can certainly get antioxidants in pill form. But the very best way of actually getting antioxidants is in the foods that we eat. And what about organic versus inorganic? I get asked that a lot from the audience. Does it make a big difference with regard to antioxidant power? Yeah, well, some studies have actually shown that foods grown organically can have greater levels of antioxidants. And the reason is because antioxidants also protect plants. Yeah. When plants are grown organically, that's without pesticides or chemicals or antibiotics, they actually have to produce more antioxidants to protect themselves. Right. And when we eat them, we get the benefits too. Oh. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. All right, let's see how I'm doing here. Uh-oh. 75,000. 
Now, listen. No, no, no. I, I honestly, goodness, did not do that to show off. Although I know it sounds like that. Uh, I did that because I eat the things that all of you could be eating. I don't do anything fancy. I'm as busy as you are. I just made it part of my life to eat the kinds of foods we're going to talk about today. It's that simple. But when you see numbers like that, it changes dramatically the chances you're going to have to cope with some life-threatening or life-ending cancer 